Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you're all okay. Today we are talking about the welterweight ranks. So obviously Ryan Garcia has now moved up to welterweight. In the day, Tang, oh, Tang, Tang, look it. I don't think Tang's going to beat Frank Martin, but if he did, he wouldn't fight me because I'm moving up. I'm not doing 140. I'm going 147. I can't make 140. My body can't literally go lower than 143. It's impossible. The only way he's going to fight Tank Davis, it's a catch weight. Right. Okay, at, at 45, right, right, 44, just the way they did it to him, right, yep. right. yeah. Fat. Now he's the man, now he's the face of boxing. Super lightweight, which is 140 pounds, he's now moving up to 147, which is way welterweight, which is where Spence fights, which is why Ryan Garcia versus Spence makes sense. He could fight Terence Crawford, obviously, Terence Crawford is number one, but Ryan Garcia has been ranked for a welterweight as number three, which is very shocking to be honest. I mean, we don't get many like good people in welterweight, so I can see how he's been boosted up to, to number three, but he said he's gonna be, all he said, he's just he's just said he's fighting at 147. He hasn't actually proved, he hasn't fought at 147 yet. He's only fought at 143. That's like the highest he's ever been. So for him to say, I'm moving up to 147, it's fair enough, but box wreck, I've just assumed that he's gonna go straight up to 147. He could just fight 143, but he said he's moving up to 147, so box wreck, I've just acknowledged that, I guess, and just put him on the welterweight division now. Again, Ryan Garcia has been put number three. The only reason why he's been put number three is because he beat Devin Haney at 143. If he didn't beat Devin Haney, I think he would be in probably in the top 10 still. Not, no, nowhere near number three probably like even 10th maybe but ryan garcia could put on more and more weight because he is like he is like 5 10 5 11 around that uh size so i mean he can put on a lot more weight and fight even more people we could even go up to like what jake paul's doing fighting mike tyson at 240 yes that sounds stupid to see ryan garcia at that weight because we've obviously only seen him when he's been very light super lightweight division lightweight division we've only ever seen that so for him to go to the cruiser weight if he went up to like cruiser weight heavyweight anything like that it's definitely possible but it's just going to take a long time but in my opinion i think ryan garcia does deserve the welterweight ranking of number three but i think it's a bit weird that box i have just put him on there just from ryan garcia saying that he's at welterweight he hasn't actually proved he's at welterweight he hasn't fought anyone at welterweight just said it and they kind of just put him on there but i think he does deserve number three ranking if you look through the rankings it kind of does make sense but obviously now ryan garcia's got new division he's got new opponents so we'll see how well he does against those new opponents but anyway, that's all from me. Let me know if you guys think Ryan Garcia deserves the number three spot in the welterweight division. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Take care. Peace. Make sure you guys go and follow me on Instagram at lewisbostock01 to keep up to date with everything that's going on. And make sure you subscribe to this channel so you guys can see all the content coming out soon.